I don't know. I'm not really, really a pink girl, but I felt like this color was so cute. Welcome back to my channel if you're new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications so you're notified when i drop new videos and if you've already been here you're oldie but a goodie thank you guys so much for coming back and tuning in thank you guys for being so supportive i have a long awaited video for you guys i'm going to be recording my unboxing of the canon g7x mark ii this is my first camera ever um, on YouTube because prior to I was using my phone I'm actually using it right now so as you guys can kind of see the quality but I'm going to be switching back and forth between this camera and my phone just so you guys can kind of see the comparison of the quality of the video um, but I will let you guys know when I'm getting ready to switch back and forth because I do have to show you guys the camera so this is the Canon G7X Mark II as you guys can see I'm going to be giving you guys the specs of the camera because this is my first camera I'm not really familiar with all of the things that I can do with the camera except for the stuff that I've done research on I want to give you guys the price um, and the specs of the camera and why I chose the camera and then I'll show you guys what the camera looks like itself alright so I'm looking at my phone here so I can give you guys the details of the camera so this is the Canon PowerShot digital camera G7X Mark II with Wi-Fi and NFC LCD screen and one inch sensor. So this is the black version. Um, I think they have another one where there's like a, like silver accents to it, but I have the whole black version. When I purchased it, so I bought it from Amazon um, because I felt like the prices were a little bit cheaper. Um, because this is my first camera, I don't want to like OD spend money on a camera that I'm not pretty sure like if I'm gonna be able to really use it or not. So I got the camera only. Um, I believe you can get the memory card bundle or video creator concept bundle. And then they also have one with like the battery pack. So on Amazon right now, what I'm looking at, if you buy it brand new, it's $6.29 for just the camera. If I ordered it again, I will get a um, get it by tomorrow. So pretty fast shipping. And you also can add um, yearly protection on the camera. Um, I see that they have a three-year protection. I think it goes up higher than that as well. But you also can buy the camera used. So what I personally did, I actually bought the camera um, off of Amazon. I didn't. So basically, it was it was brand new, but somebody, I guess they sent it to someone and they opened the box. So it caused me to have to pay less than what the actual retail price would be. Okay, so I felt like that was the best route because, like I said, I never used the camera before. Just to give you guys a little bit more specs of the camera... Um, it features a large 1 inch 20.1 megapixel sensor, high resolution 3.0 inches LCD monitor, it has built in Wi-Fi so I'm able to download an app um, when I'm recording videos or taking pictures and I'm easily able to just transfer it straight from my camera straight to my phone which I really really love. With the ability to shoot continuously up to 8 FPS, um, adjustable packable hood and cu customize your fit where it has a draw cord hem and adjustable velcro cuffs. And yeah, so it's very small. I mean, not very small, but it's small enough because my main thing was looking at to see if I'm going to be able to find something that I can just easily, like if I want to carry it in my purse or I just want to hurry up and take it out really quick and record something. I didn't really want like a huge bulky camera and I felt like this was the best way to go. And I've actually been researching about this camera for a few years now because I knew at some point I was going to be getting a camera. So I was just seeing like what was the best camera for um, someone that will be recording, vlogging, um, going on trips, uh, vlogging, and things of that nature. So I ended up deciding to go with the um, Canon G7X Mark II. But I know that there's one, um, there's a G7X Mark III. And when I went into Best Buy, because I wanted to see it in person before I ordered it, they told me that um, to try the Sony, I want to say VZ1, I believe that's what it's called. Um, they say that one is a little bit newer, um, but like I said, I'm happy with the one that I purchased because there's more videos out on this particular camera, and then like the, some of the people that I actually subscribe to 
um, personally they are using this camera so I felt more comfortable going with this um, option so let me show you guys some of the items that I picked up from Amazon um, and then I'll show you guys exactly what the camera looks like and I pretty much gave you guys the features already but I do want to kind of show you guys some of the stuff that I didn't say so the first thing that I bought on Amazon as I was waiting for my camera to get here because I've ordered it and I think it came in like two days from Amazon. Oh, also another thing when you order stuff from Amazon. And so if you go to Canon's website, you can see some of the, the buyers that are approved by Canon and they, um, Canon will still extend you the warranty on the camera if you decide to go with the used camera so the first thing i ordered was this little um case for the camera i thought it was super cute um it's pink and i don't know i'm not really really a pink girl but i felt like this color was so cute um it also comes with a lens cap to put on because i was reading some reviews and they were saying that um it'll keep the dust out of your camera if you like keep a case on it so this is the one that I decided to go with I think it was about $12 but of course I'll leave everything in the description that I purchased for the camera um, so that you guys can go and shop from Amazon literally everything is from Amazon the next item that I purchased was this Joby Riptite 1 GPS stand um, it's a Gorilla Pod. I've seen like so many people use this, so I decided to go with this. Um, this one as well. You can use it for your phone. You can use it for your camera, and it works perfectly fine. I'm gonna tell you guys one thing that I noticed with this specific one. I might need to get a look like a bigger size one. I just was trying to go like compact with everything. Um, I might need to get a bigger size one because sometimes I can tell that like if I'm recording then um, the neck bends sometimes and I don't want that to happen but it's very very sturdy you guys very sturdy. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the stand that I have my camera on now. Um, and I already had that one like some years ago because like I said I was recording with my phone. Alright you guys so the next thing that I purchased was this Canon battery. It is the MB-13L um, and it's very compact in size. The camera did come with one battery but I wanted to have a spare just in case if I'm out somewhere and I don't have time to charge that one battery and I don't have to stop in mid recording to charge my battery so um, I noticed that the battery does last pretty long but I just wanted to have a spare one the next item that I purchased was this light uh, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like I'm not gonna put it into the camera but you guys can see I bought this specifically at first um, for like pictures and stuff um, and you also can change the settings on it, hold on, because you can make it yellow or back to white. And it's very bright, you guys, but I bought this when we um, went to Mexico because I wanted to have something. If we take pictures at night, then we could have something to be, like, to give us that bright effect than to just be having dark pictures. So I bought that. Again, I'll leave all this stuff in the description bar um, for you guys to go and purchase if you're interested. The next item that I purchased was this camera bag. Okay, so you guys, this camera bag is from Amazon Basics, I believe. Um, again, trying to find something very small that I can just carry around very discreetly. Um, but I noticed that this camera by itself, um, this camera bag by itself, I'm not able to put my camera in there with the pink case that I just showed you guys it's like too big so I'm ha I have to literally take it out the case to put it inside but I noticed I can put my um I can put the battery in here if I need to and I'm good to go so I'm not going to get rid of it I'm going to keep it um and yeah so I really like this because it's very like I said very small in size but alternatively I will probably find something else just so I can have a little bit more space inside the bag because if I decide not to not to carry a purse or something like that, I can put my license and everything inside of the bag. This item that I purchased was this bracket. Um, the brand is Yelangu. I'm not sure, um, but I noticed that this one it was very sleek compared to some of the other ones that I saw on Amazon. Um, this goes to the bottom of the camera so that I'm able to um, add the microphone attachment. So I know that the Canon G7X Mark, Mark III, um, they actually put a port on there for you to... Um, it has a built-in microphone, both of the cameras, G7X Mark II and III, but they put a um, microphone jack for you to be able to put the actual microphone if you wanted to do an external microphone. So this is what you need on the Mark II. Actually have your microphone posted on to the side of your camera. 
So that leads me into my next thing, um, the microphone itself. So the microphone comes with this little um, camera with this called, I think it's like a wind sensor or something like that. I can't think of the name. Um, but this is the microphone itself. Again, it's by Movo. It's by Movo. This is for like, um, if you're outside and you need like the wind to be like, to silence the wind in a sense. Um, and then this is the actual cord that will go into your um, camera. So this with this microphone, I saw that you can use it on your phone, you can use it on a laptop, you can use it on a camera, and all of that. So what I need, what I had to do for my camera specifically, because like I said, it doesn't come with the headphone jack. So I had to buy like an extension cord for this, um, so I can put it onto the camera. And again, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Uh, once I show you guys the camera and I'm going to show you guys the setup and I'm also going to show you guys, give you guys a test of the microphone inside and outside. So got the microphone. It also comes with a, um, this is for you to mount your microphone onto the side. So literally this is the bracket here and then you would just literally slide this into that but you will have to just tighten it. But I'm going to show you guys how to do that in a second. Alright you guys, so that's everything that I purchased for the camera itself. Um, I'm going to switch from this camera to my phone really quick. Just so you guys are able to see everything that the box came with. I'm going to show you guys exactly um, how the camera looks, what comes, what had came in the box with the camera. Um, and yeah, so let's go ahead and switch that out really quick. Alright you guys, so now I'm on my phone. Um, which, if, okay, so let me say this before I go into that. If you are using your phone for YouTube or whatever, there's no problem with that. Like I said, I've been using it for the past two, three years. I, was, I literally was like, I'm not going to buy a camera until I'm like really ready to go full fledged with YouTube. So there's no problem with if you're using a, um, your iPhone because if you have one of the latest iPhones, pretty much the quality is not that bad. The only thing is just like lighting and it might be a little bit grainy. I personally like to use the front camera because I'm able to see where I am um, and how the, it looks, but I know the back camera is better. Um, and that was one of the biggest things for me when I bought a camera was to make sure that it had a viewfinder to be able to see what was going on while I was recording. So if you have a phone and you're using that for YouTube, keep pushing. Whenever you're ready to get a camera, do that. Don't let nobody force you to go get a camera or a specific type of camera if you're not comfortable. All right, so again, this is the box, all right? Um, when I opened the box, like I said, when I first got it, basically the camera was brand new, nobody used it, but somebody did open the box, okay? And it was basically Amazon approved and everything. It was shipped back in the same packaging that it was, you know, that it would come in if you would go to the store and actually purchase it. Of course, there's nothing in here because literally I took everything out so I can able to show you guys, but this is how the box looks on the inside. Um, this is the Amazon warehouse, um, stickers to make sure that, you know, for me to know that everything was approved, there was no issues with the camera. How I purchased the camera is what I got. Again, this is the PowerShot G7X Mark II. And here is the big reveal. Here's the camera right here, you guys. It's so sleek and clean. Let me get a little closer so you guys can see. All right, so that's the camera itself. I'm going to open the lens for you guys, as you guys can see. And you guys, off to my favorite part, which is the viewfinder. Okay, so this is the camera right here. Let me know if you guys want a video on how I set my settings for the camera and when I record, if you liked how the camera looked when I was recording on this. Um, let me know if you guys want to see a video on that. I have no problem sharing my information with you guys as far as that goes. Um, but I love that it has this viewfinder on it. So I'm just going to flip the viewfinder up so you guys can see. All right, so you're able to use this to zoom. As you guys can see, it's zooming in on me. And you're also able to use that to zoom out. Zoom back out. You guys can see. But you're also able to use this little button here where you can slide it and it will literally zoom in for you and zoom back out. All right, so I love that feature about the camera. Um, 
I don't know if I'm gonna get a wide lens for the camera just yet, but this is literally all it is, you guys. Um, on the side right here, you guys can see it has the Wi-Fi. So again, whenever I need to move my pictures or videos from here it, i can do it straight from my phone through the canon app i'll put that in the description as well if you need to find it i'm not sure about um android type of phones but i'm i know that apple has it because that's what i use um i pretty much edit on my ipad or on my phone um that's probably bad i probably need to use my um my laptop but literally all i do is just edit on there because i like to use my editing um, app, which is InShot. So I like to use that to edit my videos. Um, and I don't have a MacBook except for one for work, but I wouldn't be using that for that. This is the camera here. Um, you put the battery in at the bottom right here. It's a lock. You pretty much put your, let me show you guys. So this is what the Gorillapod looks like that I was showing you guys. Let me flip this back up so you guys can see. So this is pretty much how it looks. Let me show you guys what the um, case looks like on the camera. All right, guys, so this is how the case looks. This is the lens cap that goes on. I have to push these little things back in, but that's basically what it looks like. So as you guys can see, it's a really cute pink. And I was like, oh my gosh, I gotta get this. So that's that. Um, but again, it doesn't work with me putting the bracket on. So what came in the box with the Canon G7X, it came with a battery charger. Okay, so here's the battery. Um, this is the spare battery that I have. It literally goes in like that. It'll tell you this indicator shows when it's charging. Hold on. This indicator shows when it's charging and then this one will show when it's full. So I try not to leave my batteries. If it says full, I'm unplugging it because I don't want to like over like charge the batteries so that's what came in the box um the wristlet this came in the box as well this little strap right here um the power cord for the canon um i actually have it over there so i'm not going to go get up and show you guys but the power cord that goes into here to charge the battery pack is this and that's literally everything that came in the box so let me show you guys how to put on the microphone. So here is the camera. Here's the bracket. Literally, you just sit it on here like this. Let's see. Make sure I got it in there. The screw is here at the bottom. So as you guys can see, it's not screwed on yet. I'm just holding it. If you push this, you take the, it comes with this wrench. The um, bracket comes with the wrench so that you're able to just easily just put this on a few turns and it is tight. So as you guys can see, it does give the camera a little bit of a bigger effect, but it's very sleek compared to some of the ones that I have seen. So I'm super satisfied with this one. The next thing is the microphone itself. So you'll see this cord in the box. Like I said, everything will be linked down in the description. You literally take this, like, I wanna say like auxiliary type of cord, push that into the microphone at the bottom. This part does not fit into your camera. So you will need, if you have a Mark II, let me say that, if you have a Mark II. So you will need this attachment. Let me get closer so you guys can see. You'll need this type of attachment so that it goes into the camera properly. So you wanna connect this piece with this other piece of like the auxiliary type of cord. And your camera, I mean your microphone should look something like this. So on the side of the G7X, there's a little opening here where they have an HDMI cord. Let's see. So that's why I say you need this extra piece because there's no port for the actual auxiliary type of cord. So this is gonna be your connector. You're gonna put it in at the top up here. It goes in at that little section up top. Push that in. There's no settings that you will need to do on the camera itself. 
you have two of these that come in the box but you're, you're going to need only one so what i like to do is set the camera down push this on really tight okay so it's very secure as you guys can see i had to use a little force all right then you're going to slide this into the side of the bracket okay then you're simply going to tighten this on the side. It's not going anywhere, it's not moving. It's as simple as that, like that's literally it. I'm gonna show you guys once I do the test, um, what it looks like. Um, and I'm gonna, put my, I'm gonna put the camera back on the stand so you guys can see. Now, as you guys can see, the cord hangs a little bit. What I would just do is just pretty much just kind of just loop this around on the side and then it kind of lays a little flush, but I'm not really worried about it because if you're going to be recording, like you're already walking around with a camera. So it doesn't, I'm not really like concerned about how this looks to someone else. I'm recording for my own content and I'm not worried about nobody else's feelings. So, um, but I'm getting ready to show you guys what it looks like, um, and everything. So hold on, give me a second. All right, you guys, so I'm back on my camera. Um, the microphone is attached so let me know what you guys hear so this is testing 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 one two three this is with the microphone all right um so i am going to give you guys a test of what it sounds like um outside as well so all throughout this whole video i did not have the microphone attached it has only been attached up until now all right you guys so i have this on my little tripod that i was just showing you guys um a minute ago but i li literally needed to put it here because i need to show you guys what the tripod looks like that i actually record on um so i'm not sure so the brand i'm not sure how much i pay for this because i bought it like a long time ago some years now um but this one's by you yoon tang i think i'm saying it right um if i can find it on amazon i'll of course put the link down in the description but it basically comes with a um bluetooth all right guys sorry somebody called me i had to answer the phone so this is the Bluetooth. Um, so everything that I try to, everything that I try to use as far as like um, technology, I try to get make sure it has blue, some type of Bluetooth because it's just easier. It's more seamless. You don't have to plug up anything to a computer, um, and it's perfectly fine. So if I'm recording and I'm not by the actual stand itself, I can just go ahead and hit a button on here um, to to capture a picture to, for it to start recording, any of that. So I really like this feature, but I really don't like walking around with this um one i like the gorilla paw one that i have so again like i said i'm gonna end up buying another gorilla paw one that's a little bit bigger and a little more sturdy because the one that i have is very small and sleek okay so this one i might not even be able to get the whole thing in the shot because it gets very long let me see if i can back up a little bit so this is how long it gets and then at the bottom you're able to open it up for it to be a tripod okay it also has this attachment because like i told you guys i was using it for my phone so it has this piece that you just screw onto here and it goes on like that but i'm not gonna put it on because i'm getting ready to show you guys um do the microphone test for you guys outside so that's this tripod like i said if i can find it i will put it in the description for you guys um like i said i'm getting ready to take this outside so you guys can hear the difference in the quality so let's go to here so i'm outside you guys can tell me if you guys hear a difference in the sound quality let me know let me know testing testing there's my dog <laughs> All right, you guys so that is the test let's go ahead and take it back inside all right you guys so that's the end of this video thank you guys so much for tuning in and watching if you have any questions on the camera or anything that i purchased um the microphone anything go ahead and put that in the comment section or send me a message on anywhere that you follow me any of my socials and i have no problem getting back to you guys and letting you guys know if i have the answer um but again thank you guys so much for tuning in i will see you guys in the next video